Uh, now we'll start the NEET 2022 recall session. Uh, the NEET 2022 recall questions is uh, what I feel is that biochemistry questions were very simple questions. So we'll just go through it. A child presented with anemia, thrombocytopenia. The child also complains of bony pain. So that itself is giving a picture of Gaucher disease. The hepatosplenomegaly is seen. Light microscopy revealed a crumpled tissue paper appearance. So it's very difficult to find any question paper without this crumpled tissue paper appearance. So here also we are getting the same question. So it is a case of Gaucher disease which is the most common lysosomal storage disorder. Here the what happens is the glucocerebroside has to be converted to ceramide. So for that we need glucocerebrosidase. So the enzyme defect is glucocerebrosidase. This is also called beta glucosidase. So what is accumulated? Glucocerebroside. And glucocerebroside accumulates in the extraneural tissues. So there is no mental retardation and there is no cherry red spot in classical Gaucher disease. That is Gaucher disease type 1. The following finding is due to deficiency of. So you can see that the triangular raised lesion here is just the bitot spot or bitot spot. So, bitot spot is seen in the deficiency of uh, which vitamin? Bitot spot is seen in the deficiency of vitamin A. Which of the following enzyme activity can be estimated in RBC to diagnose vitamin B2 deficiency? So, uh, vi vitamin B2 uh, containing enzyme is glutathione reductase. This is a flavoprotein and flavoprotein it contains vitamin B2. So erythrocyte glutathione reductase activity is used uh, to find out the B2 deficiency. The answer here is B. Then what about transketolase? So many of you have uh, confused it to be transketolase. No. Transketolase, the erythrocyte transketolase activity is a indicator of B1 status. B1 status. Now what about the other enzyme? Kyanuraninase is an enzyme that require uh, B6. It's a PLP requiring enzyme. Pyruvate dehydrogenase is a multi-enzyme complex with the five coenzymes which include five coenzymes which include B1, B2, then B3 that is thiamine, then riboflavin is there, niacin is there as NAD plus, then coenzyme A where B5 is there plus lipomide. So that will not find out a specific B2 deficiency in pyruvate dehydrogenase. So, um, and, uh, so that is not the answer. So answer here is glutathione reductase. DNA packing is done by which of the following proteins? So DNA packing is done by, you know, DNA is negatively charged. So this negatively charged DNA can be packed by a positively charged protein. Which is the positively charged protein? It is histone proteins. The histone proteins is actually forming a histone octamer on which the double-stranded DNA is wound. In which direction? The left-handed direction. And what is that called as? It is called a nucleosome. So nucleosome is the one which is the first level of organization, then the second level of organization and finally it forms a metaphase chromosome. It is not glycoprotein or nucleic acid or adenine. Series of redox couple arranged in ascending order in inner mitochondrial membrane makes an electron transport chain. There are mainly four complexes and the complex four inhibitors include. The complex four inhibitors are all gases that is cyanide, carbon monoxide, hydrogen sulfide and sodium azide. So here it is the cyanide not carbon dioxide. Oligomycin blocks the FO subcomplex of the electron transport chain that is in the ATP synthase complex. FO subcomplex is blocked by oligomycin. Now and then cobain is not the answer. So here uh, the answer is cyanide. The patient from Mediterranean origin went to Africa and developed features of malaria. So uh, uh, and he is treated with the primaquine. 
so people in mediterranean regions are susceptible to develop one deficiency and what is that g6pd deficiency now in from africa he got an infection of malaria so treated with the primaquine what is the problem with the primaquine and the g6pd it is aggravating g6pd deficiency later develop so later develop hemolytic anemia why because g6pd is an enzyme that produce nadph NADPH is required for free radical scavenging. This is all a vicious cycle. Free radical scavenging. So if there is no free radical scavenging, RBC membrane integrity is affected. So the RBC undergo lysis. So that is why it develop hemolytic anemia. So this is due to an enzyme deficiency. We, all, we know that G6PD. So we should be knowing which pathway this is involved. Is it in glycolysis? No. Is it in gluconeogenesis? No. HMP pathway? Yes. In which phase of HMP pathway? The oxidative phase of HMP pathway. Rapoport? No. So the answer here is HMP. Single mutation in a nucleotide base pair changing it from protein coding to terminator coding. So it is actually a single base mutation and it is uh, changing a protein coding to a terminator coding which means a sense coding or a coding coding is converted to a stop coding. Coding cordon is converted to stop cordon. What is this called as? It is called as a nonsense mutation. Nonsense mutation. So the answer here is nonsense mutation. Then what is missense mutation? Missense mutation is a point mutation where a cordon is changed to another cordon. So we can see this a cordon is changed to cordon X is changed to cordon Y. Okay, now the cordon X is supposed to produce amino acid 1, cordon Y is producing amino another amino acid, say amino acid 2. So, when cordon X changed to cordon Y, uh, it is a cordon cordon changed to another cordon cordon, but and it is producing another amino acid, then it is called as a missense mutation. This is not that. Stop mutation is not the correct word for a nonsense mutation it is called as a nonsense mutation itself not stop mutation then what is silent mutation silent mutation is that a cordon x after point mutation or a single base change is converted to cordon y okay now cordon x is producing amino acid 1 once uh, the mutation happened also usually that mutation is happening in the third base so when the mutation happens in the third base for example u u u is uh, after a point mutation become u u c now u u u and u u c is produce is coding for the same amino acid phenylalanine then it is called as a silent mutation we don't even know that a mutation had happened because no change in the amino acid so that is a silent mutation so here the answer is nonsense mutation which of the following helps in the transport of fatty acid across the inner mitochondrial membrane in the cardiac muscle so the transport the cardiac muscle is an organ which is depending on fatty acid as its fuel so if the fatty acid has to become a fuel it should undergo beta oxidation so for that it should pass through the inner mitochondrial membrane so if the fatty acid has to uh, pass through the inner mitochondrial membrane it has to combine with the carnitine now this carnitine uh, acyl which combines with the fatty acid to form acyl carnitine so this acyl carnitine is the one which is translocated with the help of an enzyme called a translocase carnitine acyl carnitine translocase so this is a whole process whereby the transportation of fatty acid is occurring and for that which protein is required carnitine is required acyl carrier protein is a protein involved in fatty acid synthesis so it is not the answer LCAT is an enzyme activity in HDL. It is also not the answer. Carnitin and albumin. No. Uh, albumin is no way helping in the transport across the inner mitochondrial membrane. Uh, the free fatty acid is carried in the um, by binding in the plasma. Uh, fatty acid is carried by binding with the albumin. That is true. But to transport it across the inner mitochondrial membrane, it is not albumin involved. So that is not the answer. So the answer here is B, that is carnitine. 
a 16 year old boy presented with a pain in the muscle during exercise very very characteristic 16 year old boy that is adolescent age group pain in the muscle during exercise which means exercise intolerance exercise intolerance he also has symptoms of discolored urine usually in such patients there is rhabdomyolysis myoglobinuria discolored urine which enzyme defect can cause so this is a straightforward case of a disorder which affects the glycogen metabolism in the muscle and that is muscle glycogen phosphorylase enzyme deficiency which causes which disorder mcardles disorder mcardles disease hexokinase no it is not glucose 6 phosphate actually it is glucose 6 phosphatase no glucose 6 phosphatase deficiency will not cause a muscle glycogen storage disorder it is a liver glycogen storage disorder then hepatic glycogen phosphorylase uh, glycogen phosphorylase correct but hepatic will cause hers disease and it will not manifest with exercise intolerance so that is not the answer hence the answer here is myophosphorylase which is mccardle's disease so uh, to conclude when you compare the questions of iron acid and uh, by uh, this uh, neat uh, what i can understand is iron acid uh, was a very difficult question paper with lots of uh, molecular biology techniques uh then neat paper was a simple paper so what i can what we can infer from this we cannot predict about any uh, any particular exam any question can come in any exam so which means that but uh, what i am seeing is that it is not coming usually from uh, uh, like uh, some uh, topic which is not at all discussed very few question will come outside that definitely that is that is why we are writing a competitive exam right so definitely but 80% of the questions is falling in the topics which we have discussed in the videos or in the revision videos in the q bank etc so be confident with the, the source that you are having and try to finish what you have in hand rather than looking at other people sources this is what i want to tell you so don't stop when you are tired stop when you are done and all the best thank you